Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys and you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Man. Man, 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 man. man. I actually am getting excited about the Dallas Cowboys. I like some of the things that we're hearing. Now, we'll see if all this stuff actually works out. John Ridgway. Woo-wee! John Ridgway. Let, 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 me, let me go back. Let, let me go ahead and set the table, okay? Because we about to have dinner. We about to get served, okay? And if you're going to have a good meal, you got to have the table ready. You got to have plenty of room, especially elbow room, because you're going to be in there grubbing. And we're going to be in here grubbing. I, high school, played offensive line. Played guard, left guard. When I went to JMU, I played nose tackle. Actually, back then we called it nose guard. And you have to understand, I do not believe there is a more violent position than being the nose guard. The collisions that you have on every single play, you will ache in places that you didn't know you had. You literally are hitting your head every single time with the guy in front of you. He is literally a football length away every single play. And it's not just that guy. Because sometimes you're getting hit by two guys at the same time. Because the guard will crash down on you. Hit you in the side while he's already engaged. Or this guard will hit you. Or a tight end. The worst ones were tight ends doing a wham block. Because... You're looking and waiting and thinking you'll get hit by the center, and all of a sudden this guy out of nowhere hits you, blindsided, usually in the ear hole. Or the tackle will do like a, 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 a pull and come down the line and clean your clock, or you have a fullback coming through there. You literally get abused on every single play, and you get very little glory. Because your job is to do one thing and one thing only. Give the glory to the linebackers because the guards aren't able to get to the second level. To keep the quarterback from being able to step up. Now, once in a while, you'll be able to get a sack or a tackle and things. But your numbers won't show it and you won't get love. People don't buy your numbers, your jerseys. They don't wear them. They'll get Micah's. They'll get D laws. They'll get digs. But probably not too many people will get Ridgeway. But I tell you what, John, John Ridgeway, John, John, John. Here's what I'm going to do. I've gotten away from buying jerseys of players. Okay, now I do have a bunch of Dak Prescott ones, but most of those are all gifts. Usually I will buy, I'll get a Joe Boo jersey for the season. And I usually get that season's number, so I need to actually get one of those made. Cowboy Joe Boo 2022. Or I'll get retired players. Because there's so much movement in football. You know, here today, gone tomorrow. You know, you've know, got a jersey, now what you going to do? You know, you, you bought a Micah Parsons. I mean, excuse me, not a Micah Parsons. A Jalen Smith. What are you doing with a Jalen Smith now? Okay? But John Ridgeway, I will make you this one. If you... Become the starter at nose guard, nose tackle. I will buy your jersey. I will wear it proudly, okay? Because I know not to be, I, I know your family will buy it. We know your mama and your dad, you know, probably your sister and your cousins. We know they'll get them. But most people won't. I will do that for you because I respect what you have to do. I loved hearing. Some of the quotes from because he's colorful. The Vanilla Gorilla. Vanilla Gorilla. And he's got thighs that are unbelievable. Unbelievable. 
if he can get the upper body to match the thighs and the hips, that's going to be a mean son of a bitch. But he's already a mean son of a bitch. Early on, he said, I'm here to break some necks. Ooh. Okay. In this kind of gentler NFL, can't say break necks. Just be cool on that. But a guy who says it's hot in Texas, I'll eat a couple of cows to cool off. It's like, whoa. Whoa. Okay. I like I like this. Well today in practice, not 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 a game now, not 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 the game that I love. We talk about practice. We talk about OTA practices that aren't supposed to be physical. Physical, you can't get physical in OTAs. You can't. You can't. We found that out last year because the NFL said, no, 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 not today. Not today. We're going to take a practice from you because you were too physical last year. That's right. That's why we have nine instead of ten practices. But John Ridgeway, the vanilla gorilla, the man that's eating cows, and breaking necks got into a dust up. And they sent him to the locker room early. Ooh, wait! I love it. I love it. I love it. And so you start thinking about that. Oh, he's getting physical. Because I'm going to tell you one of the biggest problems for the Dallas Cowboys has had is getting physical in the middle. That is safety. Okay, let's be clear. We know safety has been a problem. But we, we fix the safety. But when it comes crunch time late in the year, teams can run on us. Teams get past us. Teams beat us down. And this is where getting the guy in the middle, the guy I've been pounding the, pounding the pavement for forever as a need is a space eater, a roll-off dumpster full of gravel that can hold the line in the middle, that can take on double teams and be a force so the quarterback can't step up. Because if you think about Tom Brady every time he's lost the Super Bowl, it's always been teams that can put pressure on his face. He does not like pressure coming at him. Quarterbacks like to be able to step up and be able to see the field because there's nobody there. And too many times the Dallas Cowboys have been like the Red Sea parting. And the quarterback, if he can just step up, boom, and hit the wide open receiver. And that, my friends, is what's making me happy. Hmm. I love that. We have other news, but I don't want to be too long-winded here. Um, the Cowboys plan on using Tony Pollard more, to get him more touches, but not the expense of Zeke. I like that. If people keep doing this whole thing of, it should it be Zeke or should it be Tony, I say you need both. You need both. The two different set of skills that you need. Mike McCarthy on the hot seat. you got to make a run, but what else is new? Dalton Schultz, we don't know if he's going to show up for minicamp or not. These things will be answered at some point in the very near future. Tomorrow will be a very busy, busy day. I got a lot of pieces I got to get out tomorrow, uh, package wise. Mike's got to go get Gina and family, meet them halfway. Um, I got to get everything packed up ready to go so we get the RV on Saturday morning. We can hit the ground running. My man Brian Green will be here uh, tomorrow sometime. I got to hook up with my man David Wiley because he's making us some extra food for the trip. There's so many people and so much moving parts to do this. Um, I am so blessed to have so many different people that just came out to help come together. A lot of times what happens with me is um, I, my mouse just starts running without thinking everything through. This is why me and my wife are, are good, but we're always at each other because I am the 
you know, oh, it's going to be beautiful and everything else. Let's just do it. Full steam ahead. And then it's kind of like, wait a minute. Here's the things you didn't think about that you got to get squared away. It's like, I don't want to hear that. We're just going to, no. It won't work unless you do this, 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 and that. I'm like, I don't care. I don't, I don't, I don't. Okay. Because she's the voice of reason. I'm the idiot that goes and puts himself out there. But fortunately, so many of you out there have reached out to help out, to help me cash this check that I'm writing. I, it, literally. Because I, I, I don't know how I could do this without all the people that have come forward. So I appreciate you guys. And I can't wait to get to Texas and try and make things better. I know I can never do anything that can replace Stuart, but I hope that I can at least help a little bit. And in life, that's all you can do. If the last two years haven't waken you up to the fragility of life, you're never going to wake up. We have lost too many people way too soon. And we need to start realizing how precious our time and our lives are and trying to make the most of it. And that's what I try and do every day. Every single day. That and tell the people that you love that you love them. Because you might not get the chance again. Brian, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Randy, 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 Randy. I look forward to seeing you, your son, on Sunday. Mark, I'm not sure which day I'm going to see you, but I look forward to seeing you too as well, buddy. Appreciate y'all. Peace.